Mike's music method. In this video, you will learn a systematic method to find every note on the guitar. And it'll be easy, I promise. Now I know this is a guitar lesson, but we're gonna have to spend a minute on the piano because in the words of the great John Palmer, music theory was invented by keyboard players to make all other musicians feel inferior. I think he's right. So here's our keyboard. As you can see, there are a couple of spots where there aren't black keys. This isn't some magic about the notes. F sharp isn't, you know, any more different than an F or an E, except that it's a little bit higher. The only reason there are black and white keys is to make the piano easier to play. Now, you'll notice if there was a black key here and a black key here, we would have no frame of reference for finding what the notes are. But now I can locate C really easy because it's always left of the two black keys. All right, so the important takeaways is that E does not have a sharp. E goes straight to F. Same with B. B goes straight to C. So don't B sharp. Get it? Don't B sharp. B E spells B. Don't B sharp. They don't have sharps. That also means that F doesn't have a flat. Flat means to the left. And C doesn't have a flat. So that's what we have to remember for the guitar. We're going to go step by step. So write this stuff down and memorize it. The guitar strings from the sixth string, which is the lowest to the highest, are E, A, D, G, B, E. They're silly sentences like Ed ate dynamite, good by Ed. Or you could just remember them. All right, now that you have all six strings memorized, the next step is to learn all the letter notes for the low E string. Let's go through them. E is open, F is the first fret, G is the third fret, A is the fifth, B is the seventh fret, C is the eighth, D is the tenth, and E, we're back where we started, twelfth fret is an octave. You'll notice I skipped the sharps. That's because we're not gonna worry about the sharps right now. We're just trying to remember all the whole notes. And if you get those signposts, it's very easy to fill in. If I know where F is, then of course I know where F sharp is. Right, if I know where A is, of course I know where A sharp is. It's one fret higher. Now remember, E goes straight to F, there is no sharp. And B, on the seventh fret, goes straight to C, which is the eighth fret. Because on the piano, there aren't sharps. Don't be sharp. A fun way to memorize all these notes is to just search for the chords to your favorite song, but instead of playing the chord, play the single note on the low E string or play a power chord. So if the chords are E, B, A, I would play an E note or an E power chord to B, which is my seventh fret, then A, which is my fifth fret. And that way you can go through a bunch of songs while you're learning your notes. E, B, A, C sharp, E, B, A, C sharp. I used to do this to Misfit songs, but you can pick any artist you want and you'll have fun while you memorize all the notes on your low E string. Now I'd recommend doing the same thing for the fifth string, the A string. But before you watch me do it, Sit down with your guitar. You know that string is A, so with a piece of paper, map out all the notes. What would the first fret be? What's the second fret? And figure out where the whole letter names are, and then continue watching. All right, I bet you nailed it. Let's double check your work. Open is A. We're gonna go to the second fret, which is B, right? Because the first fret is A sharp. We're gonna kind of just ignore that for now. B, third fret is C because B doesn't have a sharp, don't be sharp, which makes the fifth fret D. Jump up another two frets to E on the seventh fret. And did you get this right? It's only one note to F, right? E doesn't have a sharp, don't be sharp. B and E don't have sharps. Go up 10th fret is G, and then 12th fret, we're back where we started at A. I'm stopping there because if you go higher, the guitar just starts over. Open is the same as 12, so 14, is the same as two. 
14 is B, just like the seventh, second fret was B. Right, so you add, add 12 and you get an octave. Cool. Now for the fun part, check out this diagram. I located all the Fs on the neck of the guitar. Now this looks confusing, but we're gonna break it down into a few steps and you'll be able to find all the Fs. And it's a lot of fun. Let's get to it. Check it out. So I have my F on the first fret of my sixth string. Now, from there, if I skip a string and I go to the fourth string, two frets higher, I have another F, an octave higher. So again, first fret on the sixth string, skip a string and go two frets higher. So the third fret on the fourth string, they're both Fs. Now, of course, if this note is an F, so is the first fret on the first string because both of those are E strings, right? The sixth string, sorry, the first string and the sixth string are both E's. So of course, this is F and this is F. So that's kind of cool. I have three octaves of F right there. You just found three Fs. So practice that a whole bunch. It's fun. Now when that feels awesome and comfortable, I go to the note that's furthest up the neck. So that was that fourth string, third fret. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my first finger there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna build up the guitar even higher. So from that third fret, fourth string, I use my pinky to get the sixth fret of the second string. And there's only two in this position. So those are two Fs. Now I can practice going from that back to my other position. And those are all Fs. You sound like a robot. And then we'll build up from there. So now where my pinky is, I'm gonna put my first finger. And from this location, the sixth fret on the second string, that's an F. From now I go down to the fifth string, eighth fret. So it's two frets apart, four strings apart. Sixth fret on the second string to the eighth fret on the fifth string, and those are both Fs. I can put my pinky where that was, put my ring finger where that was. All Fs. Yay! Stop! This is probably plenty of stuff to work on, so take a break. Save this video to your watch later uh, setting or whatever and come back and watch it later. You can also subscribe to this channel down below or put a date in your calendar a week from now. Come back and revisit Mike's Music Method video because this is a lot of stuff to work on. But if you're ready to move on or you've already come back from before, well, welcome back and let's continue our octave finding lesson. So we have all these Fs. We got to the... 8th fret on the 5th string. And I'm going to put my 1st finger there. And now it's similar to this one because I'm going to skip a string and I'm going to go 2 frets higher. So 8 on the 5th string goes to 10 on the 3rd string. And that's the only 2 in that position. Now I move my 1st finger to that higher one. So I'm on the 10th fret of the 3rd string. We're almost there. We're getting there. So the 10th fret goes to the 13th fret of the 1st string. Can you see? 10 to 13, 10 on the third, 13 on the first. Now I'm gonna move my first finger up again. So I'm on the 13th fret, but guess what? 13 is the same as one, it's just an octave higher. So we have this idea here, right? You memorize that. So the same thing happens here, 13, 15 on the fourth string, and 13 on the sixth string. So that's the same pattern. So we have all the Fs, right? One position, second position, third, fourth, fifth. Well, I guess you could do that one there too. And then we're back where we started. Yay! So sorry, let me review this one. I'm on the 10th fret of the third string. I can go up to that 13, but I can also go to the sixth string on the 13, right? They're both Fs right, just on, on the different E strings. So that's all your positions. 
And you can, you know, you can search for an image of all the dots, the one I showed you earlier, and I'll show it again. But um, to view it on a sheet of paper is like, okay, it, it's fun to know, like, in theory, how many frets apart they are and whatnot. But when I'm playing, like, I'm not counting the frets, right? This is all by feel. I have that one position down, right? I go to that note, the highest note, and I build on to the next one. I go to the highest note, and I know to go down to that one. Go to this note, I need to go up there. Go to this note, I know I can go to that one or that one. Then I'm back where I started. So you get a cool robot sound. Find all the Fs. But now it's super awesome. I told you every note on the guitar, right? So here we go. This applies everywhere to all the notes. Yippee! Okay, so what I mean by that is if you do the fifth fret on the sixth string, that note is A, right? So I can do the same thing. Right, I can find all my A's there. I can build up, I can find all my A's using that same method. And eventually, you can start on any string, right, and you'll, sorry, um, so now I'm doing the note, what note am I doing here? I'm doing a G, and I can find all the notes from that G. So you don't always have to start on the low string. Once you get used to those patterns, you can find all the notes on the guitar Always, forever, for infinite amounts of time. You're great. Subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends if you've learned something. Later. Hey, you did great. This video contained a lot of information. Feel free to chop it up, take it into bit-sized pieces. You know, watch a minute, spend a week on it, come back to it, bookmark it and just keep working on it. If you have any questions or concerns, please comment below and I can help clarify if there's any problems, um, but explore. Eventually you'll be able to pick any note on any string and jump around and find, find that note in all the various octaves. And it's a, a great skill to have on the guitar and it's really not that hard. Go slow with it and I promise you will get it. Good luck. Mike's music method. <laughs>